Hey, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. I'm getting ready to cast on another pool house poncho. And today I'd like to show you how to do a backward loop cast on. Even though this is arguably one of the easiest ways to cast on stitches, I'll admit it's generally not one of my favorites because it can be difficult to maintain an even tension. And the first row of knitting is rather fussy. However, the backward loop cast on looks nice in this twisted garter edge around the neckline. So let's get started. Before we begin, if you'd prefer ad-free access to every tutorial in our searchable and neatly organized library, head over to thechilidog.com and join our pack. A basic membership unlocks all of our content, or treat yourself to that, plus free patterns, including all of our new releases, and more. I find that it's easier to skip the slip knot when using the backward loop method. Wrap the fingers on your left hand around your yarn. Wrap the fingers on your right hand around your needle and the yarn tail to hold it up and out of the way. Your left thumb goes over the yarn, rotates down towards you and back up to create a loop around the thumb. Your needle pokes up through that thumb loop in the same direction that your thumb is pointing. Drop your thumb out of the loop and then pull the yarn to tighten things up. Again, your, your thumb goes over the yarn, rotates down, points towards you and back up. The needle points in the same direction as your thumb. Drop your thumb out of the loop and pull the yarn to tighten things up. And after the first couple stitches, you don't necessarily need to keep holding the yarn tail. Nothing's going to come unraveled here but you may want to hold it just a little longer just so it stays out of the way. So you would continue casting on until you have the correct number of stitches. After casting on, your first row of knitting can be either a right side row or a wrong side row. And as you're working across, you'll likely notice that it can be tricky to insert your needle tip through the cast on stitch. To make things easier, what I usually do is I insert my needle between the first two stitches to kind of open things up and make a little bit of space. And then I rotate to go through that first stitch that I'm working into. And then either knit or purl the next stitch. You may be wondering what happens if you accidentally rotate your thumb in the opposite direction as you cast on. Instead of going over the yarn, your thumb goes under the yarn and rotates around and back up. The needle tip pokes up through the loop you drop your thumb out and tighten things up. Again, you go under, rotate, up through the loop, drop your thumb out and tighten things up. Instead of creating a backward loop cast on, you've done what's known as a loop cast on. The good news is it will be a whole lot easier to knit the first row. However, with a loop cast on, your knitting will have a much loopier open edge than with the backward loop cast on, which may or may not be the effect you desire. Now let's take things to the next level. If you are familiar with the long tail cast on, you may have already noticed that the thumb motion is the same for it and the backward loop cast on. Essentially, when you're doing a long tail cast on, 
you're creating a backward loop with your thumb, inserting your needle up through that thumb loop, but rather than just placing that cast on stitch onto your needle, you're actually knitting that cast on loop before you drop your thumb out and tighten things up by pulling on the yarn. So you're casting on and working the first row of stitches at the same time. This makes it a lot easier to maintain an even tension across those cast on stitches and it eliminates that fussy first row that follows the backwards loop. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the backward loop and loop cast on and how the long tail cast on is related to the backward loop. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechilidog.com and look for my pool house poncho pattern. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.